There. Now you should be able to hear me. Sorry about that. Stupid mixer settings. <laughs> Let me adjust my... Uh, whatever you call it here. That way you guys have some sort of noise while I'm playing. Alright, this is being a dingus. Uh, let's see, that should be... There we go. Boom! Now you should have game audio too. Nice! Who doesn't like that? Still nothing? Okay. Is that better? You have to let me know if there's sound now. <laughs> Okay, cool. Now we're good. <laughs> Every time, because I use the same program to record that I do to stream, and so... Um, the settings are different when you go between recording and... Um, streaming. Yep. That's what I was trying to say. So, I always forget to change that. I was recording last night really late, so... Uh, this is Pokemon Trading Card Game. I've, I've got my usual league tonight. I actually go to the card shop and play, so I'm uh, just gonna play a little bit and should chat with you guys and just hang out if that's cool. Oh, we got a challenge. It looks like someone wants to play. All right. Well, we're playing Xerneas today, so let's see how this goes. Someone wants to play, so we're going in. Why the fuck not? <laughs> Take my shirt off. Moses, or Moss, I thought you said- Jesus, I thought it said Moses. I'm fucking ridiculous. Moss, you can't handle these big jiggly titties. <laughs> this is, uh, kind of an ideal start. I wish I had a second Xerneas. Taylor Evans with the two bucks. I love you, Jiggly. Well, I love you too, Taylor. Thank you so much. Uh, I guess I'll start the only Pokemon that I have. So the gist of this game, it's pretty simple. Well, it's not simple, but the the stand, like the beginning steps of learning the game are simple. So each deck is 60 cards. In those 60 cards, you have Pokemon, trainers, and energy cards. And there's all sorts of variations amongst those things, but your deck has 60. Um, and when you start the game, you shuffle and you draw seven cards. And what you're trying to get off those first seven cards is a basic Pokemon like this. So if you see Xerneas in the top left corner where it says Xerneas, it says basic. Um, that's a basic Pokemon. Something like Xerneas Break is an evolution of a basic. So you can't, you can't start with that. Um, so what we're waiting is for the other person to choose their basics. I don't have any more to set down on what is called your bench, which is this section right here, right below the basic Pokemon. Oh, uh, that's right. You can't see my cursor, but... <laughs> um, so what we're going to try to do this first turn is get another basic Pokemon, just because it's it's necessary. Will I rage at this game? No. Do I still play Pokemon Go, Jack? Uh, occasionally. Uh, mostly when I travel. So when I'm in airports and, and cities and stuff, I, I do play, but for the most part, I've caught everything that's in this area. So... Um, it's kind of hit or miss. I'll play a little bit. Oh, shit, they're waiting on me. My bad. Alright, so we see a Flabebe. So it's some sort of Floet deck. Yeah, Sean, it's kind of like Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, it's just a, a competitive trading card game, so... Um, it's similar. I'm sure it has its similarities. Sign your dick? Absolutely not! Creature Man, yeah, this game is free. Um, but... To a degree. <laughs> uh, so the game itself is free and they you can buy starter decks in game. Um, but you typically get those starter packs by um, buying actual physical card packs that come with code cards in them. And in those code cards, um, you can put those online. Oh, uh, let's see here. We'll put this here. And we'll just Geomancy to do... An energy card to our benched Pokemon. Um, 
So the deck I'm playing is Xerneas Break, which I shuffled away a minute ago, but uh, the whole point of this deck is to attach a shit ton of energy cards. And, uh... And do a shit ton of damage with them, so... <clears throat> yeah, my bad. I was too busy looking at the chat and not paying attention to the game, then I, uh... <laughs> forgot to click done there. Am I gonna open packs, Adrian? Not on stream. That's something I typically do in a video. I saw a couple other donations come through. I'm sorry I kind of overlooked them. Let's see, let's see. Oh, Michael started things off with the 20 knocks. I remember that currency. Back again, boy. By the way, Panda, how are you? I'm doing well, man. How are you? Thanks for coming back. Uh, Drezzer with 30 knocks. Just need to beat the other Norwegian boy donation. <laughs> uh, and Taylor Evans with another $2 said, Tell the story of you working at Chipotle. Um... I've already told that story, though. You guys know that story. It's when I shit my pants working at Chipotle. I thought it was a fart. And I was wrong. <laughs> That's pretty much it, honestly. I was standing at work. There was a little bit of break in the line. I farted, which I thought it was a fart. I'm like, poop my pants. What else? What, what, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> How, what, what was I supposed to do? Martin, if you want to donate, there's a link in the description. Um, don't feel obligated to do so, but that's how you would do so. Mm, sorry guys, I'm trying to catch up with the chat here. Ally, I do not play Yu-Gi-Oh, sorry. I'm your role model, Bonos. That's awesome, thank you so much, that's cool. Alright, looks like they confused me. Which is fine. So we can just do this. Um, Alright, so check this out. I think you guys will like this. This is fun. So we'll discard these two. And we'll take a Tapu Lele. And what Tapu Lele lets us do is when we bench it, we can search our bet or our back, Jesus. We can search our deck for a supporter card, which is anything like Bridget, Brock's Grit, and things like that. Um so I think what I'm going to do is go for Professor Sycamore to give ourselves seven new cards in our hand. Gives us a chance to get a Xerneas break. Um, and other things on the bench to start doing some damage. We'll toss away a Lysander, which is fine. We, we have VS Seekers. So this is exactly what we're looking for. So we'll do that. Pop this here. We'll hit the Max Elixir, which we failed on. Um, and we'll drop these two cards. And we'll go ahead and get Xerneas break on our own. Feekster, you cheater! No, it's fine. <laughs> you just know what my hand is. Which is an unfortunate circumstance. We'll retreat out for free because of our... Stadium card. And then we'll live stream for, I think... Not enough for a knockout, but still a good amount of damage. Let's see what you guys are talking about. What's good about Xerneas Break? Um... Well, here. Once he's done playing, I can show you, but as he's playing cards, you're just going to see them pop up on the screen, and it'll interrupt me showing you how it works. <clears throat> you're just going to keep seeing shit like that, but I'll show you in a second. Do I like Pokemon? Well, yes. As you can tell, I like Pokemon. <laughs> hey, JJ. Thank you, man. That's awesome. Glad you've been uh, enjoying the content. So now they have a Florgus break, so it's a break versus break, and I can't tell what Florgus break does. Oh, you may heal 30. Okay, that's that's cool. Alright, so we're just gonna Sycamore again and toss away our energy, which is fine. Because we get a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, let's toss an experience share here, attach an energy here. Hit a max elixir, hopefully, and failed it again. My god. Uh, we'll pop this here. So what's good about Xerneas Break? Uh, is that it has an attack called Lifestream. Which is this right here. It's sideways, sorry, but... 
It does 20 damage times the amount of energy cards total that I have in play. So that includes fairy energy and double colorless. So for every energy that I attach, it increases my attack by 20 damage. So later in the game, that attack can hit for like 250. I mean, it's it's a ridiculous amount. Um, but right now we're running into problems with getting confused. So what I'm going to do this turn is uh, an attack called Geomancy. And search my deck for two um, fairy energy cards and attach them to my Pokemon. Which, after knowing what I just told you guys, just makes my attack stronger and stronger. <clears throat> Which is the whole point of this deck, is just attach a shit ton of energy cards and just do a shit ton of damage. <laughs> See, this right now is interesting. So unless he has Mega Gardevoir, he's gonna be... kind of, uh... Helping me here? I'm not sure how else to describe it. He's putting out a Pokemon that's not going to cause any status conditions, so I can actually... See, this is a perfect example. Del double colorless energy counts as two energy, so now I'm hitting for 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180. We're going to use Professor Kukui here. And now we're going to deal even more damage. Check this out. I think we're going to hit this for 200, if I'm correct. 200. There it is. This is why Xerneas is so good. <laughs> it could start doing a lot of damage really, really quickly. <clears throat> Deadly Fox, my favorite Pokemon is Scyther. Always been a favorite of mine. Let's see here. Oh, we got this. We just have to use Tapu Lele. Um, and then we'll just hit the energy drive for 120. And that's game. Boom. Knockout. <laughs> GG, my friend. GG. Thanks for playing. Oh, you want to play again? Cool. I'm going to hit you with the same deck, though, because I'm practicing. I've got a, uh... I've got a little minute, like a, a little tournament tonight that I'm going to, so I'm just trying to get some practice in with this deck. Uh, the Joker, the amount of damage you have to do is depending on how many hit points your opponent's Pokemon has. So if they only have 80 hit points, you really only have to do 80 damage. But most of the Pokemon in this game have a lot more than 80. Um, we're seeing Pokemon now that have 240. It's just, it's a ton. It's a fucking ton. My favorite Pokemon game is Crystal. I think, I mean, honestly, Emilian, I, I'm excited for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, but I honestly haven't even finished Sun and Moon. <laughs> uh, I'm just slacking hardcore on it, so... Um, I'm honestly more excited for Gold and Silver coming back more than anything. Gold and Silver is great. Jamie Doge, I think my favorite gen might be Gen 2, but I'm not sure. That's a really tough choice, man. Gen 2 was my favorite game, but I don't know if it's my favorite Pokemon, but it's up there. Gen 2's got a great a lot of great Pokemon. Quietest Laughter, my favorite deck right now is uh Glissopod Lorantis. It's just fun. Uh, we're gonna pass. Bart Snyder is Master Ball a good card? I don't even think that's a card at the moment. Lazy Gamer just busted a huge nut. Let's hear it for Lazy Gamer. And their huge nut. 
Oh, god damn it. Are you playing... What deck is this, Feekster? Are you playing Lunala Garbodor? You are. What the fuck? Interesting. Fuck. Um, we can do that. Do, 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 do. Oh man, this is unfortunate. I'm just gonna Geomancy. It's really all I can do this turn. Fuck! Mike Lepp with the two dollars. Hi, Dad. Hello, my son. Hello, son. Hello, my child. Thank you for attending the live stream. Mm -hmm. You've made father proud. <laughs> <clears throat> the pirate, my favorite Pokemon is Scyther. There's no, there, there's no discussion. It's my favorite. Just fucking love, I love Scyther. <laughs> so right now what Feekster is playing is a deck called trash Lance Garbodor. Which is this fucker. Um, it does 20 damage times the amount of item cards in my discard pile. Which item cards are huge. You play lots and lots and lots of item cards. Um, so it's... <clears throat> it's a pain in the ass. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I hate getting rid of the double colorless like that, but I need to start dealing splash damage. Um, because a lot of his Pokemon in play have low HP. I need to start splash damaging everywhere. Josh with the five bucks. Hey Panda, finally got a debit card as I leave for the army in ten days. Just hoping to catch a stream over phone. I'm glad I was able to. Dude, that's awesome, Josh. I'm glad you're able to catch a stream too. Thank you so much for coming by, my friend. Yeah, we're gonna see Shattershot Lunala. That's gonna hit for a lot. That's gonna hit for 80 this turn. Which is painful. Oh, thank god, the clutch in. We needed this. We needed new cards in hand. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> We're gonna field blower off the choice band and the stadium. We'll put our own stadium in play. Uh, let's do this, and then we'll splash damage again. We just want to start getting a bunch of damage counters down to make this easier. Nah, I can't really do any impressions, unfortunately. <laughs> Jaden, I think the reason why I like Scyther is because the episode from the, uh, the series where Scyther was like this old man and he was just a badass. He was like the Logan of Pokemon. He was just trying to fight to protect his friends and shit. I don't know. I liked it. <laughs> okay. Let's... Oh, they're taking the prize. I'm like, what's what's taking so long here? Alright, so let's hit this, hopefully. Beautiful. And then we're gonna via seeker for another end to knock their hand down to five and get ours up to six. Which is always a good strategy. Lower their hand and increase yours. And we're getting exactly what we're looking for, thankfully. So we'll attach here. We'll evolve here. I think we're only going to hit for a hundred. Because this Lunala is just super fucking tanky. I think he's got a bunch of HP. I like Kabutops a lot too, actually. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, I survived! Thank God. Okay, I see. He's beefing up the other Lunala. I see. Let's, uh, let's see here. What's the best way to do this? This is a bold move, but I'm gonna do this. Okay. So we used our... ability. And we're just gonna Geomancy again. And we're gonna try to get a fuck ton of energy on the board. ASAP. <laughs> I probably should have switched out to something that wasn't Xerneas Break, but... I mean, we've got more of them in the deck. You can always get more of them on the field. I don't want to sacrifice putting one out and getting attacked. So he can hit for the knockout here for 40. <laughs> Ooh, doo -doo -doo. We'll put out Tapu Koko right now because of the free retreat. Let's see. We're gonna go for another N. I don't want to get rid of all those resources. That's a lot of good shit to hold on to. Oh, fuck yeah. We hit exactly what we're looking for here. Um, let's drop this. We'll put that down here. And we're just gonna keep splashing away. Take a knockout on the active. And then he'll promote another Lunala that will take a knockout on the Coco. But we should be able to get a knockout on the Lunala because we've been damaging it all game long. You dig? Almost everything he has on the field is damaged now because of the top of Coco, which makes it very hard to come out and survive a shot. <clears throat> so we're down on prizes, which is fine. Because we're just going to keep doing shit like this, see? Attach, let's see what we have in here. We're going to play Brock's Grit, and we're going to put two of those back in. And a couple energy, so we just shuffle six cards back into the deck, which is beautiful. And then we should be able to take knockout here. Beautiful. Being down a couple prizes isn't that huge of a deal. However, we do have quite a bit of cards in the discard, so Garbodor is going to hit pretty hard. Mm, okay. The Garbodor hits hard, so that's definitely something. So we're looking at... Well, we'll see here. Alright, so we have six items in the discard pile, apparently. Attach here. Let's see. They don't have any cards in their hand at all right now. Well, Kukui. Not what we wanted. Hmm, I'm trying to figure out what the best play here is. We can just take the knockout, but then we lose our attacker. That's fine, we just need to take a knockout. We need to even up the prizes here. Sorry, I'm trying to make figure out what the best uh, plan is here. <laughs> Have you ever played Yu-Gi-Oh? No, and if not, why? I just, I just haven't, honestly. There's not a huge reason. Uh, I've just never played the game. Music just changed suddenly, that was weird. Alright, so we have a Tapu Koko. Uh, so we have to discard a 
couple of things here to get what we want, unfortunately. But you gotta do it. You gotta do it to get the knockouts. Alright, we've kept this a tied game all the way. <clears throat> and then big old fat Lunala comes in. Alright, so Lunala is gonna be a threat. However... Garbodor is scarier to me than Lunala. Hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Garbodor out now. Yeah, I don't want to fuck with Garbodor at all. <laughs> you don't see Ditto in my deck because Ditto's not in my deck. <laughs> Pretty simple. Alright, so we're down to last prizes each. Let's see what we can do here. This is gonna be some crucial shit. Alright, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So we're not hitting any one shots yet. We'll go ahead and grab it now because we definitely need Xerneas Break. We're going all- we're going for all the cookies! It's not enough! <laughs> I needed 20 more! I needed 20 more! Yep, GG to you too, my friend. Attach more energy and just make this hit even harder. There's the 160. That's what we needed last turn. All hail Xerneas! All hail Xerneas! Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> I miss Randy's donation of three dollars and said, what's up? How you been? I've been good, man. How are you? Thanks for coming by. Hiddleston Queen with the two bucks said, how come no Panda Pokemon? You my favorite YouTube. There's, there's Panda Pokemon. They're just not in my deck. <laughs> because, uh, of reasons. Mostly that, most of the Pokemon that are Pandas are shitty. At least the cards are. Let's see what they're playing now. Fire and colorless. Could it be Typhlosion? What could it be? I'll do Tails. Yes. Alright, this is a nice start. We'll definitely take this. Oh, okay. I see what this is. What's my favorite starter? Hmm. I don't know. I really like Trico because I like Sceptile a lot. <laughs> I think Sceptile's great. We're gonna put this down, but we're not gonna use Wonder Tag. We don't really need it right now. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I guess I could have used it for Bridget, but I can't attack first turn anyway. Um, I'm just gonna pass. 
I don't want to end right away. I hate ending right away. <laughs> Joker, I play a lot of decks that aren't EX or GS exclusives, but sometimes you do what you got to do. Uh, well, there's actually the card we were looking for, but, um, fuck. This is when things are going to get interesting, because if now I can grab an escape rope, which I didn't, fuck. I had a chance to take the game this turn if I was able to retreat Xerneas out. But I wasn't because I'm stupid. I got greedy with my energy attachment. That's all right, though. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yep, see now we're getting shit on the bench. Fuck a little do! Big Teeny's an easy two prizes to take though, I do like that. And we're gonna see Turbo Energize. What is that, attached to energy? Yep. Not a bad attack, it just be wouldn't it would be nicer if it did damage. Well, let's attach here, and we're just gonna sycamore. We've got enough energies on the field now to do some serious damage. Drop that here. We're going to Ultra Ball. And we're going to start taking a lot of fucking damage real quick. We're not taking, giving. This setup was almost ideal. And we're hitting for a lot already. Was that 180? Yeah, we're almost hitting for 200 like turn 3. <clears throat> and with that double colorless, we'll be hitting for 220. And that's pretty much GG. <laughs> oh no! An energy discarded! But that's enough. GG. Well played, yet again. Yay! A couple of wins. What do I like to play? This is the game I play mostly when I'm not recording. Um, just because it takes a lot of time. <laughs> and, um, I just, I just don't have a lot of time. I, I really like, like, one of my favorite games that I've ever played and I have played a few times is, uh, what am I trying to say here? We're gonna play a different deck for fun here, but Golden Sun. And a bunch of those top-down RPGs from like the classic Game Boy and SNES era are a lot of my favorite games. Just because I think they have a lot of uh, nostalgic value for me. We're gonna play something different here. This is a Tapu Koko Honchkrow deck. This one is fun. And you'll see why. Uh, if you start the correct way, which I did not, but that's okay. We've got everything in our hand to get Tapu Koko out and start dealing splash damage already. Got to make them work, Feekster. I don't necessarily have an ideal start either, but you know what? I made it work, bitch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking with you. All right, we'll uh, we'll attach here. We're gonna escape rope. Make these fuckers switch. All right, what do we have in hand? We can Ultra Ball these two for Ponch Crow. We'll have that for next turn. 
And then we'll Shaman for five. Five fresh cards in the hand. Drop our Stadium down. And then we'll pass for turn. Yeah, I know I need mods, but I definitely don't just want to hand it over to somebody I don't know. This is, uh... A lot more than just my channel, man. It's my job. It's kind of scary to just hand it off. What are we seeing? Is this Aromatus? Sylveon? This is interesting. And a Clefairy? What the fuck is going on? It's my favorite gen. Probably gen 2, honestly. I like it a lot. It's a great generation. <laughs> Um, let's not get too greedy here. Let's just start dealing some damage. So the point of this deck is to do a bunch of splash damage like this and then bring in Honchkrow, which does 10 damage plus 10 more for each damage counter on the field. So right now that attack is already hitting for 90 after one attack. So next turn it's going to hit for... What is that? 180? And then just more and more and more. I mean, it's... as. You can do the math, just keep multiplying. It does a lot of damage fucking fast. There's a Sycamore, so we're gonna see what else comes down this turn. It's really hard to explain in in, in real time, Richard. I wish I er I wish I could explain more. <laughs> so we're gonna see Sylveon with the magic ribbon for three card draw. Or not draw, but they get to search for any three. But I'm still just going to keep doing splash damage, and you'll see why. When you bring in Honchkrow, it's going to be... angry. Okay. So without sacrificing too much, we can throw away these two cards. And we'll go for a Tapu Lele. Because we want to we wanna shuffle and get all their cards that he just searched out of his hand. But we also need a new hand ourselves. So we're going to Wonder Tag for N. It wouldn't hurt to have more Pokemon benched. But I really need to focus on a better hand here. Alright, interesting. Not really much of what we're... Looking for here. Um, so we'll just flying flip and do more damage. It's really all. It's really our goal here is to just spread a ton of damage. So now Honchko is hitting for not enough to take out Sylveon, but that's okay. We don't have to really rush it too much. Yeah. Let's see, are we gonna see another Sylveon or Aromatus come down? Another Sylveon. Okay. Heal from active or from bench? Okay, see, we that that's preferred. That's less damage healed, which is what we want. Where did I get my panda name? Honestly, it just came as an idea. My gamer tag on Xbox was IR Panda, and that channel name was taken. So when I decided to, <laughs> let's see. Not, not, not going to be enough for a knockout here because of my stadium card, so Tapu Koko lives for another turn. Which is perfect. Um, let's... Oh, jeez. Let's Ultra Ball here. And we'll toss... These two? Let's get another Coco down. Because after this turn, we're going to lose the one we have. And then let's end. We want to get six fresh cards and hopefully grab a double colorless here. Which we didn't get, which is fine. We can still attach a dark energy to Coco. Because all he needs is double colorless! <clears throat> Alright, let the splash damage resume! <laughs> I'm excited for you guys to see how much Honchkrow can hit for if I'm able to attack with this thing. 
All right, so we see the fairy garden come down, which removes our protection on the Cocos from being one-shot by Sylveon. But that's all right. Yeah, I'm going to do the Mario Kart stream. I was going to try one last night with Ohm, but we got caught up recording stuff, so... Uh, hopefully soon. Sometime before next week, for sure, because next week I'm going to San Diego. So I'll be gone for about a week, almost. Alright, so we're going to see... Ah, okay. Well played on that. So what he just did set us back a little bit, which is fine. We can reset ourselves here. So what we'll do here is we'll play VS Seeker for a Lysander. And we'll send out Xerneas. And what this does is it forces them to attach energy to Xerneas this turn as opposed to anywhere else, if he would like to retreat. But it also gives me a chance to hit for more splash damage, which is gonna get close to taking knockouts a little bit here. So Sylveon GX, what he does is it sends two of my Pokemon and all evolutions back to my hand, which reset my, uh, my, my Honchkrow. So will we see a Geomancy? No, I didn't think so. See a Magical Ribbon here. Should be enough for a knockout on me. No, never mind. Magical Ribbon doesn't do damage. So Tapu Koko can stay another turn. And then here next turn, I'll show you why this guy is... I'll show you guys why this deck is so insane. <laughs> it's not very good competitively, but in a fun deck like this, it's a lot of fun. Fairy Drop, I don't think is going to be enough to save you. See another Sycamore. He's going to be down to decking himself out soon. I don't know what Ohm looks like. Just like Delirious. It's a hidden mystery. Yeah, Destiny wasn't really my thing. I didn't, I didn't get much enjoyment out of it. Didn't just, I don't know. Tickle my pickle, I guess. Didn't tickle the pickle. Alright, so I'm assuming we're going to see a fairy wind here. For the knockout. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So that is totally fine. We'll send out Murkrow. All right, we'll evolve into Hans Crow. We want to get Aether Paradise down. Um, it would probably be wise to attach an energy here. And let's end ourselves to six fresh cards. We're ideally looking for another Murkrow here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so we'll put Murkrow in there. How many DCEs do we have in discard? Only once, we'll wait a turn to play our special charge. And then we're going to Raven's Claw. Let's see how much we do. I bet you it's going to be more than 200. Oh, only 300 damage. Wow. What a little amount. <laughs> 300. <laughs> this is why I love this deck. It's just so ridiculous. <laughs> but he's going to knock me out this turn, which is fine. <clears throat> but we took two prizes and he's only going to get one. All right, so we'll promote Tapu Koko. We'll put a choice band on the Koko to deal more damage to the Sylveon. We'll attach energy here. We'll special charge to put two of those double colorless back in the deck. We'll drop this here, and then we'll Kukui for an extra 20 damage to the Sylveon. So now we should hit Sylveon for 20, 50, 70. I believe, and 20 to everything else, and I think we're going to take a prize there, there. So we should get two prizes this turn as well. Because we're just taking knockouts on the bench. There's a double colorless. 
And there's a Nest Ball, so we can get ourselves another Murkrow out. This deck just does a lot of fucking damage. It just does a lot. <laughs> no, I haven't played Siege, unfortunately. How was LA? LA was fun, and now I'm going to San Diego in seven days. <laughs> Fixture was just complimenting my gameplay. I'm not too shabby, I'm decent. I've never placed top in a tournament, unfortunately. There's a lot of really good players out there. But, uh, I like, I enjoy the game. It's fun. <clears throat> yeah, DC, I can play against viewers. The person I'm playing right now is a viewer, so we've just been, uh, just been shooting the shit, playing a few games. So we're gonna see Xerneas come out. Are we gonna see a Geomancy? Live stream? I'm not sure. There it is. However, I think we have enough to win this game. If we have a Lysander in the discard, which we do, yeah, we have this game won. Beautiful! So we'll attach here. We're gonna take the Lysander. Let's see how much damage we can do to, to Sylveon this time. Retreat for free with the Tapu Koko, send out Honchcrow, Raven's Claw for... 270! <laughs> 270! Jesus Christ. Alright. Was there anybody else that wanted to play before I accept this game from Feekster? Excuse me. What time is it? 4.30? I can't play too much longer. I have to get off here and start making dinner soon, so that way I can get to my tournament tonight in time. I played some GTA 5 last night, Ba. It's just that the game is like four years old. Just, actually, it's probably older than that. Came out in what, 2012? I guess it is five years old. Rodrigo, I do not think that EXs are overpowered shits. Um, especially when you can look at the fact that you can build a pretty be decent EX or GX themed deck for. Not that much money, honestly. Like, if you look at a, uh... Like a Garbodor Drampal deck right now, it's not not a whole lot of money. Um... Korean Panda, do you want to do you want to see me play Laurentis Glissopod to get some tips on how to play it? Because I can do that. I'll do that right now. I'll play Feekster again. We'll play Glissopod. Just for you. Just for you. <laughs> I lost your name in the chat though, so I'm sorry. Oh, there you are. Korean Panda, that's it. <clears throat> Andre, I have everything to build that Honchkrow deck, but I haven't I haven't built it yet, honestly. Just takes a lot of time and stuff to build the stuff, and I don't- I only really focus on Pokemon once a week. How many EXs and GXs do I have? I don't know. A lot. Oh, I've got a whole binder full. 
All right, so we're gonna bring down a Fomantis. I'll show you why. Oh, let's pinch Fomantis first and attach an energy to it. We'll play Switch. So what we can do with Fomantis is just use Synthesis and attach energy to Wimpod. So basically like attaching two energy in one turn just to get ourselves set up here. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to use the Xerneas Break deck I was using a few minutes ago at the tournament tonight. Austin, how long am I going to be streaming? Probably for only another 10-15 minutes, and then I have to get off here and start making some dinner. So that way I can have it done and eaten by the time I need to leave tonight. Jose, I can play one game with you after this, if that's if that works for you. Right, so we got a victory bailout first turn. Oh, that's so fucking clutch off the top deck. Um, I hate to do this, but we've got other Pokemon in the deck, so that's fine. We'll take Tapu Lele, and we're gonna just use it to get Professor Sycamore. How do you counter a Greninja deck? Um, I, I, dude, I honestly don't know the best answer for that. Greninja's a tough match. Fuck. Um, I'm not sure what the best thing to do here is. I'm making some pork loin with some potatoes. Mmm, 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 delicious. <laughs> so hitting for 50 with the poison and the burn. And the confusion, I forgot about the confusion. Yep. That fucker's nasty. Let's go ahead and play this now. Because we need to increase our chances to hit that card right now. Um, We're going to end. Oh my fucking lord. We're not getting what we need here, ladies and gentlemen's. Probably should have used one of those field blowers and just discarded Lorantis. Forgot that they had the poison barbs on them. Heal all my status conditions, and that should be a knockout on Victory Bell. Oh, Lord. And we uh, lower ourselves down to a one prize attacker. Yeah, I fucked up with those field blowers, though. Big time. How many people there tonight? Usually about 35. There's usually a good amount of people there. Given Feaster some uh, some tips here of how he should build this deck. I think the Lorantis promo would be great. Because then Pollen Hazard hits for 20, then 40, and then maybe 60. With, uh, with a Wuchima Fuck It, hits it for 90. Yeah, I play matches with physical cards as well. That's where I'm going tonight. Oh, hey, Joe, what's up? 
<laughs> Can't sign out on mobile. Good old YouTube. Quality shit. Give me heads. Fuck! <clears throat> Victory Bell is a big ol' bitch. Big ol' bitch, Victory Bell. Bitchy, bitchy! Alright, so we need to... Man, what a motherfucker this is. We're going to... Fuck! Uh, we'll have to do that. We'll drop this here. Oh, slap me in my pussy. Um... We're gonna lose Lorantis here. Unfortunately. I don't know what else to do! Yeah, so there's the poison damage. Fuck. This is a tough matchup. Victor Bell is a bunch of single prize attackers that hit for a lot of status conditions and damage between turns. <clears throat> you heard me. Slap me on my vajoon. On my Virginia! <laughs> Alright, we'll send out Galissapod, and I think we can knock out this Victor Bell safely and effectively. I'm just gonna pile energy on this Tapu Lele. Why the fuck not? Knock out, but we'll get poisoned. And we'll take a prize. And it's a Fomantis. Yay! Oh, shit. Oh, big stretch. What am I playing on PC? This is on PC. What's a vagina? Isn't that a state? Yeah. Obviously. Dr. Wiz is already gone. Sorry. Sorry you guys had to see that shit. <laughs> Fucker. See ya, Joe. We're just gonna go ahead and keep Glissapod out there, as long as he can keep hitting for damage. Why not? We gotta take prizes when we can get them! <laughs> oh god, I'm so stupid. <laughs> can you play this on mobile? There is a way, but you have to do something finicky because it only recognizes tablets. Um, but I think there is a way to get it on mobile. I don't remember how to do it though. How many Pokemon cards do I have? God, I don't know. Thousands. A lot of them are stuff that I sell off to get just store credit and stuff, though. No, I will not be building a Greninja deck.
Very dangerous move there with the Sceptile. Are you trying to get it knocked out next turn? Is that what you want? Are you gonna pollen fuck me? Depends on how much damage he can deal this turn. Because I'm already poisoned, so it's the burn that's gonna get me. And the confusion. I forgot about the confusion. Man, slap my testes. Like a fucking beanbag couch. Fucking forgot about all the confusion and shit, too. Um, alright, let's think about this. We'll put this here. We'll revitalize her. Grab a Fomantis and Lorantis. And we'll go ahead and evolve both of those now. And then we'll Sycamore. Get seven new cards. He's only got four left in his... In his dick. <laughs> We're gonna do something crazy here. Just for... Just for fun. I think you guys will enjoy this ludicrousness. We're gonna retreat. This is gonna be fun just for the sake of doing something stupid. And I hope you all enjoy this. Um, we're gonna flower supply for 80. Attach this to Lele. <laughs> I'm just gonna attach a bunch of energy to Lele. Oh, excuse me. This game's taking longer than I thought, so this is probably going to have to be the last one. Uh, no, you cannot evolve a Pokemon the first turn you send it out, unless it's a grass Pokemon and Force of Giant Plants is in play, which allows you to evolve Pokemon the same turn you played them. Do 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 do. La la la. Let's uh, let's get little funky, little funky monkey. Doodle dee 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 Ooh! Dee 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 Feeling that shit, motherfuckers. <laughs> um... Let's play it safe here. Let's drop this- Huh? Is it worth it? Let's give it a shot. Tails? Yes! We hit Tails because we suck! <laughs> yeah, donation should show up. <sighs> yeah, this is gonna have to be the last one, unfortunately. I just- I gotta get off here and start cooking. So that way I can be out of here by, like, 6-10. Are you gonna Skyla for a floatstone? Are you just gonna retreat? Okay, we're gonna see the unseen claw for what 130? It's alright, I got something for you, Septile. <laughs> this is gonna be so ridiculous. Alright, so we're hitting for 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. With the choice span, it should be 170. But what else do we have in here? Ah, no galissapods. That's fine. We'll... 
be a seeker for a sycamore. P.I. Do 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 da 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 da. Uh, and we're gonna attack. I hopefully enough for a knockout if I can do math correctly, which I can. Yay! Math is good. Stay in school. There's the glissopod that we need. GG, Feekster! Unless you're able to take out Tapu Lele in one turn. I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, I've been to King's Island plenty of times. So as soon as he passes this turn, it's game over because he doesn't have any deck left to draw from. Or as soon as I get my turn, rather. So what are we going to see? Are we going to see a Pollen Hazard? I think we will. That's right, I got the answer. Thanks, Emil. Go fuck yourself as well. All right. I don't think we lost a game. Nice. I'm sorry, Jose. That game just ran longer than I thought it was going to. Um, next time I stream this, definitely we can play. You'll just have to send me a friend request so I can accept it. I just, I have to go, unfortunately. I have to go make dinner. All right, Emil. Get blocked. You fucking loser. Jesus Christ. Why do you insist on wasting your time talking shit on a live stream? Are you mentally deficient? Enjoy your loneliness and self-hate somewhere else, you piece of shit. And on that note... <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to hop off here so I can go make some dinner. For uh, me and the girlfriend and watch some TV with her before I have to leave. And then uh, I'm gonna, you know, have to uh, peace the fuck out. Because I gotta be there tonight by 6.30. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna hop off. Thank you guys so much for hanging and chilling out with me and stuff like that. Just a short little stream, like what, an hour and a half or something like that? An hour and ten minutes, nothing too bad, but, uh, you know. I just wanted to hang out with you guys for a little bit. Eat your sausage, dick. Only if it's got some ketchup and a nice bun. Um. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit. Um. And I will uh, see you guys in a video, probably tomorrow. Probably have a video up tomorrow, so. So then I'll see you guys later. Peace of chicken grease. And uh, thank you so much for hanging out. See ya.